Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be detailing exactly how to get the Leoric Crown for your 1-70 to process on Open Night. And then after I show how to do it and how long it takes and kind of all that, I'm going to go over my thoughts on if I think it's worth it and when and how you should decide whether to do it or not on opening night. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've got this recording here of me running through and getting the Leoric Crown, starting from a level 1 character like you will when the season starts. So I'm just going to play it on a sped up pace and kind of talk you through it. So we create our character and then we just go into the campaign. We're going to shoot down the Overlook Road that it spawns us at, kill a few mobs, and then we're going to talk to the General. He'll let us in town. And then we got to go into the Slaughtered Calf Inn, talk to Leah, kill a few mobs, talk to Leah again. Then we go back to the road, which we came from originally. The captain will unlock the gate for us to go up this old Tristram Road, where we have to kill three of these wretched mothers. We just kind of keep progressing and find them. They're kind of highlighted on the map, so they're easy to see. So we kill them, and then we keep going up here to the old ruins, and it's going to send us to town to talk to our quest line. Leah will unlock the gate for us. Then we got to come down here to the Adria's hut. We're going to kill an elite, talk to Leah, go back out, keep progressing up the road, which is going to lead us to the cathedral. And then in cathedral one, we're just looking for the next area to go, part of the quest line. So we're just going to explore in here to find our next area. I don't know if there's like a specific layout for it or not. I just kind of kept exploring around looking for where to go, but eventually you'll find the next area. And there it is. It's marked on the map. So we go down here to this Leoric's Passage. We rescue Deckard Kane. We talk to him. He's going to send us to town, talk to a quest line. Then we got to go down here to help Hadrig. We're going to go down into this cellar, kill a few mobs. And then we got to kill, I think it's his wife, who is now possessed. And then we go back out and we have the Weeping Hollow unlocked. We go up to the top right. I believe it's usually to the top right in the Weeping Hollow. We have to find the cemetery. So we make our way up to the top right. We find that waypoint up there. I went to the, the Defiled Crypt up to the far north of that cemetery. And we're looking for the Chancellor's Altar down in here. So we make our way through this Defiled Crypt. And then we find Defiled Crypt Level 2, which is where we're going to find the Chancellor's Tomb. We're going to go up here, kill him. And then we go to town. We have our quest lines we talk to. We just follow them down here to the Cathedral Level 2 is now unlocked for us. And I believe in Cathedral Level 2... Is that where we're looking for the Templar, or is that the next level? We might have to make our way to level 3 and then find the Templar, if I remember right. Yeah, so we make our way to level 3, and then this is where we're going to find the Ritual, where the Templar is, you know, a part of. And then we're going to get him. We're going to find his gear in that chest. And then we just stay in that same area, and we're looking for the guy that he has to kill. And it's going to be by some wooden spikes right here. The Templar is going to break those. We're going to come down here, kill that guy. And then the Templar will break the spikes for us to get to level 4. We just keep proceeding through Cathedral level 4. We're looking for the Royal Crypts. And I actually got a Leoric Crown drop right there. <laughs> so I was like, wow, okay. So that's pretty lucky. And then we go to the Royal Crypts, and this is where you're going to find the Skeleton King. So at this point... You would want to invite your whole group as soon as you get to this door up here where the uh, Skeleton King is, right here. Alrighty, so that's kind of the process of getting to the Skeleton King and then inviting your group to come kill the Skeleton King with you and you should all get the Leoric Crown. A couple notes, you do have to be at least level 5. I did test it with having a level 1 character in the game and they did not get it, so... Make sure everybody's level 5 to unlock the drop for the Leoric Crown. And I think you also have to be below level 65. So you have to be like 5 to 65 to get it 
I haven't tested out the level 65 thing, but I've read that somewhere. So that's how you get there and get it as a group. Now, it took me about 26, 27 minutes to do that as a level one character, but it was my first time doing it and I didn't have like a walkthrough or anything. So I could probably get that down to like 23, 24 minutes or something on a level one character. You, if you're going to do it on opening night, you may want to wait until like level 12, 13, 15, something like that. Wait till you get some movement speed boots and a movement ability. And then you can probably do it like in under 20 minutes. So would be a lot more efficient that way. And then when you get to him, just invite your whole group, you kill him and get the crown. So next I'm going to go over if I think it's worth it or not. And if it's something that you should be worrying about doing on opening night. Alrighty. So is this something you should do on opening night? I think if you're a more casual group, that's going to take like two and a half, three hours to get to level 70. I, I do think it would be a little bit beneficial in the long run and it could save you like 20 or 30 minutes on the one to 70 process. Um, I will say last season, my group didn't do it. And we were the first group on the server to get our six piece set and finish our GR 20 solo and all that. The reason I know we were the first ones on the server is because when all four of us did our GR 20 solo to unlock the six piece set, when we looked at the leaderboard, we were the only people that had done a GR20, so we were the first ones to do it. And we didn't do this Leoric Crown method, but we also hit 1 to 70 really fast because we were like really experienced and we did a couple test runs before the season and everything. So it only took us like an hour and 40 minutes to hit level 70. So the impact of getting the Leoric Crown wouldn't be as great the faster you are. So... For a more casual group that's going to take two and a half, three hours, I do think it would be beneficial to do it. Um, but if you're super fast speed demons, I don't think you really need to worry about it. I mean, it sure, it might save you five minutes, but is it worth all the trouble of coordinating everything and, you know, sending someone to go do it? I, I think it's like a little bit less fun to have to worry about going to get the crown and then inviting everybody and worrying about it. But I think technically it will save you like 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your group. So. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it. If you've had a different experience or if you have any experience testing it out or something, make sure and let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. And yeah, good luck this season. Have a good day. Peace.